Mm-hmm. OMG. <clears throat> okay, so I found a bunch more stuff that I forgot to show you guys. Third video for the day. Sorry. <clears throat> a bunch of crap. OMG. <clears throat> Get it situated. Had a couple of years on my other video and now I lost them because I started a whole new video. Okay, let's put this up. Yeah. I lost everybody. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's see if I can open up a chat. <coughs> Oops, I found more thrifting items to show. Not cool, Heather. <laughs> yeah. You guys, I found like a whole bunch of the shoes I was talking about that I said was so cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I really do have more shoes to show you guys, and they are super cute. I was like, where's the rest of my haul? And I thought I had it all, and I did it. And then lo and behold, I had, let's see, one, two, three bags still in my car. Yeah, so this is gonna be a while. We're gonna be a while here. Okay, dragging this down so I can see myself. Sorry for the background noise. The fam is gaming out. Father's Day, he just wants to play video games. It's fine with me. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so for starters, let's get this out of the way. Um, I did get this basket. It weighs nothing, right? So, 75 cents a pound. This probably cost me a quarter, maybe. Probably not even that. It weighs absolutely nothing. Okay. <clears throat> we'll just get into the rest of the shoes. Yeah, I caught you <laughs> live. Yard sale lover. Yay. I totally had a garage sale Friday. Love garage sales. There's my lighting here. It's getting dark outside. Okay. These were part of the cool shoe find that I found. It was supposed to be a continuation of the video that we just ended by accident. <laughs> Look at how cute these are. I have a pair like these. I don't ever wear them. Not sure why I got these, but they just felt comfortable when I put them on. So these are just from Target Morona, and they are a size eight. And I have a pair of peep toe ones that are super uncomfortable, so I'll definitely get rid of those if I keep these. So there's a pair of shoes. I literally am kind of excited that I found these because I swear that I used to have these. I don't think I still do. I don't know if I got rid of them because they got too dirty. But these are Sam and Libby. Sam and Libby. I don't know if y'all will get a glance. Nope. Inside there. There you go. Sam and Libby. They're suede booties. They're kind of comfortable. Seven and a half. I think mine were an eight. And I think I ordered mine on Poshmark. Okay, there's that pair. <clears throat> I'm literally, literally gonna save these last three pair right here. I'm gonna save it. So I got this hat, Capelli. And as you guys can see, I've been in the sun a whole lot. And these hats aren't cheap when you buy them new. So I went ahead and got this beach hat. 
No, I'm not afraid of getting lice. So I went ahead and got it <clears throat> to help protect from skin cancer. Such an old lady, right? <clears throat> okay. And I have saw a bunch of red and green tissue paper, but I only picked up the red. So me too, yeah. And then I noticed I had a couple of green in there. So I definitely weighed this tissue paper at 75 cents a pound, which is like air, right? Air. It's air. It's nothing. Okay, we're going to lift this up. Oh, there is a total score in here. I need to edit that in the um, description here. Look what I found. What are these? Game Boy. Game Boy cartridges times 20. I think I got like 20 cartridges, maybe. Okay. Brittany Jones, you're silly. How old are you, Brittany? You're silly, silly. And I think this is where I'm going to find the other little Let's Pet Shop toy. Remember I told you in the other video, I think I have one more. I think we're about to find it. So then I'm going to have three. Yay. Okay. Okay, so my husband has a Sally's membership so he can get glue bottles. And I think I found three of these glue bottles because he's a carpenter. They actually look like ketchup bottles, but I think they could be used for glue. So I went ahead and got these for him because they're super light, right? Love Sam and Libby. It smells like cigarette smoke. Um, where do they sell Sam and Libby? Do you know? Look at these over here. They're totally like ketchup bottles. It's crazy. I'm trapped over here in junk, you guys. It's not even funny. It's not even funny to tell you. I couldn't resist this. Is it not cool? It is super cool. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure if I still have the old pair. Okay, so I got this. And I do have some batteries. Let's see if it works. Right here. <clears throat> Man, I'm going to have to have a garage sale after all this stuff. Just going to see if this works or not. That way when I sell it in the garage sale, I can either sell it with these cheap little batteries or not. Yay! Hey, D, what's up, D? Yeah. Let's see if it works. Oh, it looks kind of dark. Those aren't even LED, are they? I don't think so. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Get this crap out of the way. There was a plastic, like, little um, folder that had a bunch of craft paper. And so one lady took a bunch out, and then I just kind of grabbed a couple designs. And I could even use this when listing stuff online as a background. Just um, kind of like a background layer cover. You lost me for a minute. Yeah, sometimes YouTube makes you refresh the page. Um, then I found these. These were cool. Poster Glow. And I like to use these for garage sales. So like when you post them up on the trees or not trees, but you know, the telephone poles or whatever. I totally put those up and write garage sale on them. I actually bought some of these recently at Walmart or somewhere where I was. So that was cool to find some more. I don't know why. I found these little religious quotes. I was going to craft them up in a little book or 
on a tech board. So I have to grab those. Man, you guys, if I was, what state? I'm in Texas. And it is like 10 minutes till 9 p.m. here. So it's getting dark. I don't know. It's been a long day. Um, there were freaking DVDs everywhere, you guys. Um, everywhere. And I threw back a whole bunch of them. I'm trying to bring my light. Okay, we have light. Um, I threw back a bunch of stuff. I was already happy with my Game Boy cartridges. We're about to count them here in a minute. <clears throat> oh, look. Brittany, here it is. It's a newer LPS. It's one that you don't care about, right? It's just the raccoon. So now we have three. I'm just collecting them, right? So these are gold, you guys. LPSs. Literally gold. Okay, so I got Duck Dynasty. Some never been opened. I didn't care if these are sold at Walmart's $3 box or whatever, how much they are. Um, SSN Series 3, maybe. SSN, Social Security number. <laughs> um, okay, so SpongeBob. I checked all the CDs. They're not that scratched. Las Vegas here, it's six fifty. Awesome. I got married in Las Vegas. It was a lot of money. <laughs> um, I thought this was cool. It's the living fireplace. So you just put it on your TV and like during the holidays. Oh, is this a Christmas one? Transform your TV into a beautiful world of roaring fireplaces. So yeah, actually there's a series of different fireplaces you can put in the background. Yeah, LPSs are great. If you ever put, you're having a garage sale, yard sale lover, and you put LPSs for toys, you will literally have a bunch of men coming and asking for your LPSs. And I was like, wait, what is that? They're, I'm just selling toys, right? They're like, yeah, no, you put LPS. That stands for like records. Yeah. You got divorce here. LOL, that's funny. Okay, Lord of the Rings. Love Lord of the Rings. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's an awesome movie. I don't know why I got this, but it is a Wii game. The Beatles are pretty cool, even coming back cooler. So I got that Beatles game. It's summer. Who wouldn't pick up Jaws? I got that. This is the all-time original movie of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's the best freaking movie ever. If you have not seen this one, the original movie, you need to go check it out. Reminds me of when I was a kid. That's some of the characters. Freaking awesome movie. But not, none of the Ninja Turtles will ever top this one. It's the best ever. Um, this is, it's from Walmart, $3.74. It's still sealed, mostly, yeah. And it's just the Swan Princess, so I did get that. Spider-Man, I went ahead and got that. These will all definitely sell at the garage sale. It's more than likely where they'll go. Oof. Okay, you know why I got this? I see these all the time. Um... No, I don't sell them on eBay. I specifically got those for garage sales because people love movies and books at garage sales. I got this for our dog to throw the ball in the backyard. He gets his ball so dirty. And we already have one of those real ball catcher throwers that I bought not too long ago. It works okay, but I thought this would still work too to scoop up the ball and throw it and not get all muddy. Totally got that for that to keep. I'm not going to be using these, but again, for the garage sale, these are $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Someone tried to sell them for a dollar in their garage sale. I will do the same. And not sure what brand this is, but I got a whole little family here of toys 
Um, oh, this is cool. It's a wooden bed. Kid craft. So look how cute that is. It's a bed. A freaking couch. My sister's husband's grandma. Bill, I've talked about her in my videos before, but she builds wooden dollhouses and literally will have every furniture piece to go in these dollhouses. So this stuff right here is kind of like gold to some people. Um, just some plastic little love seat chairs. Um, there's a wooden kitchen table, is what that looks like. But um, I've got the dad, the mom, they're rubber, really creepy. Um, this little girl is bending. The parents do not bend. And <laughs> that's funny. We have a little brother, the sister. We have a dog. Wall plates would sell great on eBay too. Wall plates. Okay, yeah, like decorative wall plates. Is that what you mean? You put all this on and I'll show you all the last. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I got it. So we have the baby here, or the little sister, that her head and her body is popping off. Looks like it. Ew, her whole freaking chest came apart. Oh my god. We're just going to throw her back in the bag. Those light plate switches are selling from $6 to $8.99 on eBay. Same color. Good job. That's totally worth listing, right? It's awesome. I can't wait to look up the these right here. We'll just go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Game Boys. Game Boys. No, I didn't get the Game Boy. But I found a um, like cassette tape holder that zipped closed. And when I it was already zipped open. Someone had already seen it, I guess, and I found all these Game Boy cartridges in their little holder. So we got um, football, Super Scrabble, um, we got Tech Mo Bowl, another football one. We got a Mario Golf, which is so cool, because look at that Mario there. Original Mario looking guy. We'll count them here in just a second. Amazing Spider-Man. Oh my god, I've totally played that game. OMG. Literally. Um, game Boy NFL. Boo. Hated sports games. That one's kind of dirty right there. That's three football ones. Uh, Radar Mission. This is a sail, or not a sailboat. Military boat. What's it called? I can't think of it. Anyways, haven't played that one. Fall of the Foot Clan, oh yeah, Ninja Turtles, all the way, I've probably played that one. Here's an empty cartridges, I thought about throwing this back, but I decided to keep it, maybe still worth something. We still going, we still going, these were gold, man. I don't even know if these are worth anything, but they're super exciting to find. Okay. Roland's Curse. Oh, I've never seen that. Some dragons. Okay. Um, Star Trek. Bam. Close. Um, Brain Bender. Never heard of it. Jurassic Park. Bam. Bo Jackson, some football and some baseball. I hate sports. Caesar's Palace. I think I played that. That looks familiar. Uh, QIX Quicks, maybe? Never seen it. There's one. Super Mario Land. What they do? Sell the best ones or something, and these are the duds? I'm joking. I don't know. Ooh, look, Bart Simpson, Escape from Camp Deadly. That's cool. But that's worth something, right? Oh, my nose is itching. Okay, 
all time da -da -da, Tetris. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, um, what do you call it? Game Boy games. That's not bad. I have no idea how much these are worth and I can't wait to end the video and look it up unless somebody beats me to it. Hmm. Okay. So I came across a jewelry kit and none of the pieces did I need did I need except for the tools. So I kept all the jewelry repair tools and I actually do repair jewelry sometimes. So then I got this metal cool M letter. Totally gonna sell that in a garage sale. Says it's metal and wood letter. Super cute. And then I found these click, like, I guess these are bicycle riding glasses or something. I don't know. Or maybe they're just for the sun, but they're really cool. Yeah, I did get them at the bins. Yeah, sorry, Casey. In case if you showed up late, I totally forgot. I was missing a couple of bags, and I thought I had them all out of my car, but they weren't. Excuse the kids. They're going to be here all summer. That's why the videos have been slow. He's like, uh, Rylan, he likes to talk, talk, talk. Okay, so um, just got this really cheap Michael Kors phone case here. Game Boy games are great. You have some good titles. Bar is only $8.99. Okay, so they're going for pretty cheap. That's okay. I could not resist putting this down. It was just the silly little cassette tape that you plug in to your radio, whatever. So there's that. Okay. Uh oh, there's writing over there. Okay, we'll hurry. Okay, I'll show you all my three very cute shoes. So here's some Vince Camuto leather clog looking Mary Jane whatever you want to call them these are a six and a half B super cute I think there's a scratch like right there but it's pretty good condition two dollars is what I paid for them okay I was shocked to find these look at these desigual desigual however you say that it's a pretty expensive brand, but these are some awesome wedges. Um, they have my 16 year old 24 seven. Yeah, and then my 10 year old just turned 11. So he's here and then my four year old soon to be five. So it's a full house. Yeah, they will sell great, right? They will sell awesome. What's even crazier Wow, you guys, I don't even think these have ever been worn. Like, if they were, they were worn, like, inside or for 30 minutes. Like, I could not believe the condition. I went on a Saturday, you guys, when it was busy. There was a lot of people there, and I was still shocked that when I went really late in the afternoon, probably 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday, I had found these really great shoes, a couple of them. Um, I showed them to y'all in the other videos, so these are some. I don't even think they've ever been worn. It's crazy. Okay. And then I'm just going to ask the same thing. Yeah, what size is the wedges? Like the desigual ones? Desigual, however you pronounce it. Um, it is a, it's probably going to be in a 38, so that's a size 8, right? 38 is an 8, made in Spain. Yeah, like, that's the perfect freaking size. I'm going to cut my hair, right? So, yeah, the perfect size, a size 8 and 7.5 is, like, so common. Okay. I need some chapstick. 
look at these heels. Some of the coach do not sell very good, but still make a good profit. Even like, um, yeah, those are good shoes. These are cute too. So they're, they have coach and I know they're real cause they don't feel cheap at all. They're fabric point coach heels. These will go on Poshmark. They're a size 9B. Real leather bottoms. They are cute. Yeah, the desk wheels and these ones too. I would never wear these, so they're too high of a heel. So pretty good condition on those. Those were totally worth it. I think that's it for those. Oh my gosh, you guys. We still have one more big bag. Is there shoes in here? There are shoes. I got another good pair. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Ooh, I got a couple pair. Damn, it was a good day. Look at these. Y'all, I bought these at the Goodwill, like, regular store um, not too long ago, but they were brown Cole Haan Nike um, heels, but they, like, looked like they were work boots, and they tied up taller. So these were freaking awesome. Like, how do you find these at the bins? Let's take off the tie. <clears throat> take off the twisty tie that Goodwill puts on them, thankfully. So, OMG, look at the quality in those heels. Okay, we got a couple scrapes. Yep, right there, nothing major. Right, right, Nike, how cool is that? They're like Nike, yeah, oh my God, great heels. On a Saturday when people are off work and it was pretty busy. Some people are like, ugh, I'm not digging through shoes. Oh my God, I will, because when you sell a $100 pair of shoes that you got at the Goodwill bins, you ain't gonna be crying. And after I get done with the shoes, I immediately push my cart to the side and I go wash my hands. Like, people can steal stuff if they want out of my cart, which they never have like that. But I'm going to wash my hands after digging in shoes. Size on these, um, if I could see it. 9.5, UK is 7. <coughs> Uh, I think they're probably worn like once or twice. I totally got to get a drink. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait to see how much those sell for. Even though the brown ones, the, the Cole Hans didn't sell for as much as these Paul Greens that just sold for $135 today. <clears throat> Seriously, if y'all are just watching, I had talked about it in my other video. I sold a pair of freaking shoes today for $135, plus they paid $7 shipping on Poshmark. And I paid $2 for them. Okay, so these are ballerina shoes, I think. And I think I kind of got these for my mom also. Um, she has, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Um, what's the foot problem, babe? What? What's the foot problem you and mom have? Plantar fascia. Plantar fasciitis or whatever. Plantar, Plantar fascia. Plantar fascia. He's saying it different. Anyways, my mom wears house slippers a lot. And so these are really um, higher quality. And I thought maybe these would be comfortable for her to walk in. Her feet always hurt. Yeah, thanks. That was an awesome sale. Jazz shoes? I don't know. I was thinking they were ballerina shoes. Yeah, Capizio. Um, they, I don't even think these fit her. Yeah, these are a ten and a half medium. Like, they won't even fit her. I'll probably have to list these on Poshmark or something. I don't know. OMG, you guys. I had to come to Jesus. Um, I don't know what's the right words for it. Thought or whatever. Try not to use my hands and my mouth. Um, the Goodwill Bins has taught me a lot about brands and... Um, items that I could totally make good. Thanks, Casey. So they are jazz shoes. Okay. Well, do you dance with jazz? I only just think of like a trumpet or whatever. 
That's weird. I'll have to look that up on YouTube or something. Jazz dancing? Hmm. Interesting. Thanks. See, you learn stuff. Again, back to my um, subject or topic here. I never knew about this brand here. And this is cool because most of the Dooney and Burke uh, little logos are like rubbed off and tarnished. But this is some really good quality silver. It's not tarnished at all. You won't be able to read it because my computer sucks. But the brand on this is the Brahmin or Brahimin. Bra Brahmin, whatever. Can't stand the name. They can also wear them for hip hop. Awesome. Um, B R A H M I N. Brahmin. It looks like it has a freaking boat on there with the sailboat thingies. A big ship boat or whatever sailboat. Anyways, I'm out of breath. Um, I found a ugly, hideous, hideous purse from the Goodwill bins. But when I picked it up, because it was snakeskin, and I know just because I think it's ugly doesn't mean that somebody else will think it's ugly. I picked up this purse from the Goodwill bins. I listed it on Poshmark for probably over $150. I ended up trading somebody for a coach purse, I think, and the deal went good. But I never knew about the brand. And so this is a smaller one, unfortunately. So I don't know, maybe it'll bring me 50 bucks, 20 bucks. I don't know, I haven't looked up the comps for the smaller ones. But this Brahmin, Bremen, however you pronounce it, the yeah, ugly sells. And it's this ugly snakeskin reptile looking purses. And most of them are pretty hideous, but they go for a lot of money. And I never knew about it, so that's awesome. I never knew um, Kohan made Nike shoes either, so, and I learned that. But that, I think I've, I've learned so many other things. I can't even think about it right now. Okay, so I thought about putting these back, but they're in really good condition. They are Madden Girl sandals. I hate that you have to buckle all these to put them on but they are super freaking cute. So I went ahead and got it. Yeah, never heard of it. The brand, Brahmin, B-R-A-H-M-I-N. Go to Solds on Poshmark. Yeah, B, the Brahmin. Let me make sure it's right, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I spelled it right because I know this brand now. Like, I know it. B-R-A-H-M-I-N. Yeah. Um, wow, this is mess. USA, whatever that says. But yeah, I s type in like snakeskin or, yeah, they're cute gladiators. Yeah, I can never remember that. Those are gladiators. That's right. You guys are freaking awesome. Okay. Oh, fry, fry boots. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I found a pair of fry boots once, and they sold okay. But <clears throat> whenever you see um, fry on Poshmark, they are, like, overpriced. There's the washing machine. Or is that the dryer? That is the dryer. Um, fry boots, and then the shoes that I sold today for $135, Paul Green. Never will I forget that brand after today, even though I loved them at first sight. I had no idea the worth, the worth OMG. Okay, so these are kind of worn. They're not fry boots, but they are French Connection. And I actually was going to throw these back. And I thought to myself, they're not Chinese laundry. And Chinese laundry doesn't sell for very much. But I think French Connection might. So I did look up French Connection on Poshmark, and these sell good also. So those were good. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the best pair? No, I'm joking, but one of the best pair. Look at these freaking heels. Boots, heels, whatever. Can anybody guess the brand on these? 
They're amazing. Look at the heels in perfect condition. They were probably worn once or twice. Look at the heel on that. Wow. <sighs> the brand on these are freaking amazing. Who are they? I can't remember. Bakers. That's like the mall. Yeah. Genuine suede leather pointy heel toe right here. But yeah. Freaking bakers, man. You'll know these boots probably cost somebody like, I don't know, I'm exaggerating, like $300. God. I would never wear them. <laughs> OMG, you guys. Like, I found these on a Saturday at the bins. Yeah. A Saturday at the bins, like, between four and six. I was there right when they closed. So, yeah, freaking amazing. Okay, so I see a lot of these old vintage fabrics a lot at my baker are good. Yeah, I know they are. I've seen it in the store, in the mall where I live. And I always try to check it out. Most of it's vintage. It doesn't ever have a name. So I checked out this one because I loved the colors. Just to be on the safe side, I wanted to always see if I can find a expensive scarf. And I kind of found one. It's not too crazy, but a Zara scarf. And this bad boy is like a blanket, more or less. I don't know what it is. It kind of is like a blanket. I guess it's like a, I don't know, a shawl? I really don't know. <clears throat> Don't drop, don't drop. I think this is the last bag, guys, and then we're done, finally. Um, okay, so y'all know me. I do not like to buy skirts unless there's something special about it, and I kind of take that back. I did sell a skirt for like $100, right? Um, in one of my videos from this past year, probably six months ago, I liked the tie-dye color, so I picked this up. And it has some lace in it, too. Well, I went to go look at the name, and it's Reba. Like, I think it's Reba McIntyre, the singer. So that's awesome. You don't see that very often. And it's cute. I went ahead and got it. So it's it's really kind of boho. <clears throat> I'm kind of excited about these. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even if it is because of your back, like, who wants to wear heels like that? Oh, they're so uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so this is Wishful Park, and it's just a basic um, shirt, but it's see-through on the sleeves. I don't know, I'm probably going to go in my garage sale. It's probably too short for me. Nice skirt. I thought so, too. A lot of Reba's stuff is kind of cute. Okay. So, To Be Together, made in Los Angeles. Seems like a cheap kind of dress, but it is super cute. Says it's a small. I bet the sucker would fit a large. Well, no, maybe a medium. Um, you can't see how pretty it is, but it's kind of ruffle bottom. It's got this little dots there. I think there's a name for that because they're like sticking out. I can't remember the name. I've seen somebody call it something. Not sure why I got this dress, but it reminds me of a pinup and the back has like the open cross stitch. So that's super sexy, right? Um, so it just reminds me of the vintage pinup style, I guess. So I got it. Or what's it called? Pretty Woman. It reminds me of like the Pretty Woman style back in the day. Look at these clear funky buttons. Really retro, right? <clears throat> I don't know the brand. Let me see. Pretty sure it's vintage. Let's see a tag. There it is. Um, Betsy's things. That's that. So cute. Yep, pin up. Totally. 
I'm about to get excited when I show y'all something. Um, this is just the Old Navy 6 to 7 basic soft t-shirt. My little one's about to be five, so I thought this was cute. There's no stains, and it's really soft. That's going to be washed, and then we're going to keep it. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you all these. I was super excited to find not vintage. I don't know. I, I use vintage for everything, and I know that can be annoying when you're trying to find vintage stuff in the search. But yeah, it's just a habit. Um, these are super fun. I know y'all can't see it, but they are skinny. They're super heavy and thick and stretchy. But I don't remember the name of this. What is it? Hold on. Y'all can't see it. It's like, um, wow, y'all really can't see it. Hold on, hold on. It's pissing me off, right? It's like suede kind of pattern. It really has no pattern. But it's got this super thick uh, spandex waist. And look what it's called. Nygaard Slims by Peter Nygaard. It's a medium 10 to 12. I just think that these are going to be awesome to make me look way skinnier than I am. My hips have gotten like super big right now, you guys. And this is going to suck everything in. I'm going to look like a size 8 after I put these on. And really, they're a size 10 to 12 is what it says. And I am literally like a size 12 right now. Super freaking thick waist, whatever. But I've never heard of these. So I'm super excited to try these on. It's going to be probably like a corset. I'm going to be like, yeah. These are going to be flashy. They're for the real estate office. That's what they're for. So, okay. <clears throat> I am so done. So done. Let's see. Me too. Love picking up clothes for me and the kids. Yup. My neighbor gave me some clothes that was his son that are that were his sons. He's probably in his late 20s. But um they gave me a box of his clothes and I told him I was like, "I know that's totally weird, but I totally love it." love like thrifted or hand-me-down stuff um <laughs> he gave me like a, they gave me a bunch of uh ralph lauren just basic t-shirts but they're with the v-cut oh my god i couldn't even put them in the garage so i think i'm gonna keep half of them for myself even though i don't like to look like i'm wearing ralph lauren every day because that's not what i buy um like that's not what i spend my money on yeah, it's super awesome. It's like we walked the dogs today, and my 11-year-old is wearing a pair of shoes that I got at the Goodwill. And I'm like, geez, you know, you buy new shoes for your kids like every, I don't know, sometimes six months, every year, whatever, and they get holes in them pretty quick. But it's just awesome when you see them wearing the stuff that you normally would have spent like $30 for, and I spent $2. So... It is awesome. <clears throat> yeah, the estate sales are cool too, except they cost more. But I do want to go to more of them. Um, some of the women have some really, really good stuff at those vintage, or vintage estate sales. <clears throat> Yeah, and they don't make things uh, that last as long anymore. Yeah, pencil dresses and the wiggle dresses. I dr oh, okay, you dress pinup. Yeah, pinup is super cool. See, I don't even know what a wiggle dress is, and I barely could even tell you what a pencil dress is. I guess I'm not that girly girlish. And I still need to get a freaking book on what is a wiggle dress. I've seen it. I think Boondoggle Bliss has done, maybe, I mean, I could be making that up, but has talked about a wiggle dress. Somebody has. 
I need to get a fabric book like nobody's not a fabric but a style book we my husband went to the library and checked out like six books for me and the lady helped him I guess she was older none of them were what I was looking for none of them was what I needed okay guys it's almost time to put the little one to bed and uh, I don't know, watching TV. Think about BodyCon. See, and I barely learned what BodyCon even was. I didn't know what BodyCon was. And I'm pretty sure BodyCon is just where it's like completely tight all the way over like every figure and curve of your body, right? Like a hoochie dress. <laughs> a hoochie dress. Clubbing. Clubbing dress fit you tight so that you cannot move fast. <laughs> Maybe I should just sit down and watch Boondoggle's videos. Oh, and she has a few books too. I bet that she suggests. Yeah, I probably should. I just doubt that the library has them and I probably have to buy them on the internet. I don't know why I can't find any at the freaking bins. There's usually tubs and tubs of books and I never really go through them or I try to skim through them and I never do see the fabric ones or the clothing style ones so okay it gets pretty awkward just talking when you're not talking about anything so I guess I'll end it I appreciate you ladies talking with me and giving me your tips and suggestions or feedback and looking up some of the prices. I know Casey Lakeman's done that for me before. And um, <clears throat> Yard Sale Lover did earlier, I think, too, on some stuff, so. Awesome. Hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your Sunday. It's 9.30 p.m. here in Texas. So enjoy your summer. And again, happy Father's Day to all you fathers. See y'all later. Bye.